Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the sensorless field oriented control or FOC of PMSM demo model included with the STM32 target support package. The model shows the typical workflow of the Plex coder for embedded targets. In this case, the model uses an STM32 G4X or STM32 F3X microcontroller. Another highlight of this model is the implementation of a position and speed observer for sensorless field-oriented control, along with current and speed control loops. The model is split into two distinct subsystems called plant and controller. This allows the same model to be used for offline simulations in Plex and for deploying the logic on real hardware using the P Nucleo IH MO3 motor control pack from STM. The model is also configured for hardware in the loop or hill testing with the Plex RT box. This model includes a detailed description of the power stage and controller. Instructions to program the microprocessor and RT box are also included. Let's open the demo model. The top level schematic contains two separate subsystems representing the controller and the plant models. The controller represents the logic we would like to deploy to the STM32 microcontroller. The plant represents the motor drive system. This model is configured to run on the RT box but can be simulated offline in Plex as well. The plant model includes a permanent magnet synchronous machine or PMSM, a three phase full bridge voltage source inverter, and a 12 volt source. The basic functionality of the STM STSPIN830 three phase motor driver is modeled in the subsystem at the bottom of the schematic. The six PWM switching signals are obtained from the PWM capture block of the Plex RTBox library. The MOSFETs are modeled using three half bridge power module components. The DC input and the AC output stator current measurements are connected to analog out blocks from the Plex RTBox library. The discretization step size of the plant subsystem is set to 3 microseconds. Now let's open the controller subsystem. This subsystem contains several blocks from the STM32 target library. The three stator currents are measured by triggered analog in blocks. The sampling analog inputs are triggered by an external event, in this case a PWM underflow. The DC bus voltage is monitored by using a regular ADC channel. A regular ADC channel is continuously converted in the background without any intervention of the CPU. The same type of ADC is used to sense the temperature on the PCB and the speed reference provided by the trimmer mounted on the X Nucleo IH-M16M1 board. Rotor field oriented control is applied to the drive system. Double clicking the current controller shows the basic structure of the regulator. The stator currents are regulated in the DQ rotating frame and generate the duty cycle into the PWM component. The speed controller generates the references for the current controller. The speed reference in RPM is manually set either via a constant block or via the trimmer on the X nucleo board. The speed reference via the trimmer can be varied between 200 and 1500 RPM. The rotor speed and position are not measured but are calculated by the subsystem labeled observer. The estimated rotating gamma delta frame is used. This reference frame differs from the DQ reference frame with respect to the position error. The position error is obtained from the so-called extended electromotive force estimated by the observer. The position error is then used to estimate the rotor position and speed. A state machine is implemented to handle the startup process of the drive. The state machine waits in the idle state until the blue user push button on the nuclear board is pushed. A calibration process is performed and then the motor startup is initiated. When the blue user push button is pushed again for a second time, the state machine goes back to the idle state and the PWM signals are disabled. This is configured by the logic here. The yellow frames enclosing the portions of the schematic configures the model to generate multitasking code. This model includes three lower priority tasks, including the speed controller, DC voltage measurement, and a low priority task for blinking an LED and sensing temperatures. Components not enclosed by a task frame run at the base rate of 20 kHz and include the most time-critical logic associated with the controller. 
the entire model runs offline in Plex. Run the model using the menu option Simulation Start. The system is initially idle. At 0.05 seconds, the model emulates pressing the user push button on the nuclear board and the startup process is initiated. First, the static measurement offset of the current ADC channels is removed. At 0.05 seconds, the current reference is ramped up. Once the motor position is aligned, the motor starts spinning with a speed reference of 500 RPM. When the estimated speed reaches the speed reference, the motor starts tracking the final speed reference value of 1000 RPM provided by a constant block. The rate of change of the speed reference is limited to 2000 RPM per second. In addition to running a simulation of this demo model in offline mode on a computer, the controller subsystem can be directly converted into target-specific code. This model is configured by default for the STM32G431RB nuclear board, which we will use in this video, but it is also set up for the STM32F303RE nuclear board. The model is configured for both hardware-in-the-loop testing with the Plex RT box and also for the Nucleo IHM03 experimental kit offered by ST. First, let's look at the hardware-in-the-loop testing with the Plex RT box. From the initialization commands window, set the value of the application to RT box. Here, you can see a typical setup using Hill. The white nuclear board is connected to the RT box via a green interface board. Now, from the Coda Options window, deploy the controller subsystem onto the STM32 MCU. If programmed correctly, the green LED on the nuclear board should blink. Next, deploy the plant subsystem onto the RT box. Once the model is uploaded, we can use the external mode to observe real waveforms on the RT box. Enable the MCU by pushing the blue user push button on the nuclear board. If the startup is successful, the speed controller will automatically track the speed reference. We can also connect to the microprocessor using the external mode. This will allow us to observe any intermediate values calculated on the MCU and to change the speed reference in the constant block. Next, let's look at spinning the motor provided with the Nucleo IHM03 experimental kit offered by ST. From the initialization command window, change the value of the application to RCP. Then, reprogram the MCU. If programmed correctly, the green LED on the Nucleo board should blink. Enable the MCU by pushing the blue user push button on the Nucleo board. This initiates the startup sequence. We can see the motor spinning. Reconnecting to the MCU using the external mode, we can once again change the speed reference and observe the calculation results of the control logic. Double-clicking the manual switch allows you to use the blue potentiometer on the experimental board to control the motor speed. To stop the motor from spinning, push the blue user push button on the nuclear board once again. This concludes the video on the sensorless field-oriented control of a PMSM demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thank you for watching.